hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today is a kind of a um, talk video just to give you a few uh, tips and tricks on um, how to travel with a, a baby so we went to Cyprus and in August at that time she was seven months old now she's eight months she's here sitting with me yes yes she can sit down now she can crawl not quite perfectly crawling but she's good at, at, at least she can you know go about and reach where she wants to go and and yeah so at that time she was seven months old and uh, I've traveled by myself with her on the plane you know I didn't have anyone with me to help me and yeah even though it was quite challenging you can do it it's not something that you know you can't do if if, if you don't have any choice and you have to do it you can do it so before I continue if you like this video subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you get notified every time I post videos so as I said we went to Cyprus my husband couldn't come with us he came later but he left early as well so I had to go with her um, by myself you know on the way to Cyprus and coming back to the UK uh, and yeah it was the first time I felt that it was easier than the second time the second time I don't know she was more fussy and all that items from the um, Sky Cafe after that's completed the cabin crew then come through your manual uh, manual order for any additional items which are available please do bear with us and appreciate that we have had a busier hour of flight and therefore we may be unable to offer your first choice Finally, please be aware that landing cars are no longer required to be completed when entering the United Kingdom. Yeah, you reach, you go to the airport, you know, you do the normal stuff, you know, put the luggage, and then you go through security. And I didn't, I didn't take push chair with me, which I regret now. I wish I did. I thought it would, it would be much easier with a baby carrier. But I was wrong. It would have been much, much easier with the push chair because I was carrying her in front, and then I had a backpack, a backpack as well, which was heavy, and um, I had a push chair. The backpack would just go under, you know, the push chair, and that that's it. I wouldn't have struggled so much. And also, when you reach security, you have to take it out of the baby carrier put the baby carrier on the tray um, along with the other items that you have to put you know for them to go through the you know the security thing and yeah that's the only regret I wish I I've taken a push shell with me and, um, and yeah what I will advise you before you go even before you go to the airport um, so it's about 40 minutes to get from my house to the airport and um, feed her before you leave the house so you don't have any problem with her getting hungry at the airport you know because you know the process getting through security and all that is quite long you don't want her to get hungry and you don't want her to get fussy because of that so make sure you feed her uh, change her and all that before you leave the house to the airport and uh, when you get to the airport uh, you know after you go through the security and all that and you just wait for you to go uh, before before you go on the plane make sure you change her again and make sure you you fit her right before you enter the plane because it's a bit of a struggle to change a baby on the plane um, but it's, it's rather more difficult for you to use the toilet while having a baby you know but I will get to that in a minute so yeah before I get to that as I said make sure you change her and feed her again if she wants to and obviously make sure that in the bag you put her milk 
um, view breastfeeding you don't need to do that um, you just I guess you can take a cloth with you to cover yourself you don't want to expose yourself when you feed her or if you you're allowed to take up to 125 millimeters I think or I don't really think they have an issue when it comes to baby milk because they didn't ask me um, they just wanted to they just wanted me to take out the formula and put it on the tray when I, when we went through security but I think they don't really care about you know because obviously it's the baby's food you know so so yeah going to the loo was a bit of a struggle for me on the plane I thought maybe I should have it in the baby carrier and then I will be able to pee you know the plane was just you know, moving like crazy and I was oh my god it was it was an adventure when I spoke to my friend she just said oh I know my friend she gave her baby to the hair host to use the toilet I thought why didn't I think of that you know the baby the, the air host won't hurt your baby she won't take your baby away or something like that so I think that's a good idea that's that's the last solution you know and if you don't have a choice just give your baby to the air host and use the toilet not a big deal and yeah I ask help from the air host they are very nice like on our way back to the UK I don't know she was too fussy <laughs> items from the um, Sky Cafe. After that's completed, the cabin crew then come through a manual, uh, a manual order for any additional items that are available. Please do bear with us. And finally, please be aware that landing cars are no longer required to be completed when entering the United Kingdom. You know, she was, I don't know, she was, she was crying, so I had to it was a bit difficult for me and then the air host actually came and asked me are you okay do you need anything for the baby i i was actually looking for you at some point because i saw you struggling I said yeah we just need some um, i will need some whole water to make prepare milk for her when we are going to cyprus i had an empty seat next to me so i put her there and when i had a bit of space and she had a bit of room to move about but on our way back there was people next to me and it was a bit difficult so i have to always hold her and she wasn't always feeling comfortable and she was crying so i asked the air host can i have like a seat where there's another seat next to her so I can put her down in there because now she can sit so I can just put her down and put the seat belt on and she's safe and he said well actually yeah I was going to suggest you that and he gave me a seat at the business class I think it's business class yeah which was very nice of him to do that and I was so you know I saw that seat earlier and I thought to myself oh, it would be so nice if I had that seat and he, he actually said, oh yeah, you can have that. And it was so nice for him to do that. And we just sat there and I put him next to me. help me like that because she was so fussy I was, I was really struggling and oh yeah also don't forget your nappies yeah I know it's a silly thing to remind you because obviously nappies is you know and also an extra outfit because as well on our way back to the UK she also poo and it went everywhere like I had to change her outfit I only had like a top and the shorts that I put in the bag last minute otherwise I wouldn't have anything for her to wear under also get a cardigan with you and a blanket I think I believe blankets they give you at the 
in a plane but just in case because on the plane is a bit cold for some reason so so yeah it's a good idea to have those things in your bag mm -hmm. and now another one thing that i want to uh, suggest is this little uh, i showed that before i showed this thing to you before we said this is a life safe safer we, seriously like you can just put food inside so i've got my um little pouches of you know of some food fruit puree that's from Lidl very cheap and very nice and yeah it's just fruit pure uh, fruit there's no sugar or anything like that so now that she's eating these these pouches and this is the best thing ever so when we went on a boat trip it's very convenient to have those things with you so you just empty here you know and you just close it and then you remove the thing it has like a hole here so it has like a hole here and you just squeeze it that a little bit and you just give up and it's so easy you know to carry around and when she gets hungry when you're on the go you can just give it to her very nice thing to have actually i didn't buy that my friend gave that to me i would try and find it and i will link it down below but that's a very useful thing to have and obviously in your bag have some toys with you snacks your milk as i said and all that so you can keep her a bit busy and um and yeah if you're wondering how you position the baby when you're on the plane and you have to you know because obviously you have to wear a seat belt when you take off and when you uh, you know when you land yeah so obviously you need to have a seat belt so they actually give you a seat belt a seat belt for the baby that attaches on on your seat belt tell you what to do so don't worry about that i think that's the most important tips the most important things that you need to remember when you travel with the baby these are the tips that i wanted to give you good luck you know you can you can do it you can do it. you can definitely do it so don't worry too much just try and enjoy flight and the baby will mostly sleep in the airplane anyway so i didn't have any issue with the you know pressure because i've heard stories about you know the pressure it makes the babies maybe that's why she was fussy but um most of the time she 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 was asleep in both you know both when we went to cyprus and when we are coming back to the uk yeah she slept most of the time so it was easy for me I just sat there enjoying my movie for watching that's the video i have for you today i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you've learned something from it and yeah i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe and like this video share with your friends and press the notification button so you get notified every time i post a video so yeah see you soon bye bye all night long yeah. We dance with our razor tongues and all day 